Creepers. Gremlins. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I knew the car was smashed pretty good in the back of it. The trunk, everything was just kind of all over the place. So. Invest the money in it, have it taken to a frame shop. Everything's within factory tolerance for the rear subframe mounts forward, so we're good to go. Once it comes back from the body shop, I get on the lift, and the next day, Bub gets a hold of a jigsaw and just goes wild. <laughs> Bub cuts the car to pieces. We've got the front cut off, we've got the rear cut off, and then there's just nothing left of the car that I just got. So I'm just kind of looking at it like, okay, well, I guess we're committed with this chassis now. So this is, this is where we're going. Well, shit, that would have made welding much easier. <laughs> Having all the stuff in the rear of a 14 kind of smashed isn't too big of a deal for me for something that's going to be a drift car because we're going to do fiberglass fenders, throw a new trunk on it, and you know, rear bumper. We were planning already to do like a fiberglass rear in the car. We ended up getting rear, uh, rear panels with over fenders from 2F Performance, so I knew you know, at that point we were fine to just run this chassis for the aesthetic purpose mainly is why we did it. The chassis seemed to have like a rough uh, previous life before, and then now I'm going to put it through its paces for sure on the track. In the fab stage, it's, it's kind of the slower moving process of it. There's just so much little tedious detail work with a lot of the fab stuff with you know, where are we going to mount this piece? We have to make a bracket for it. Where are we going to locate it? Where are we going to put this? There needs to be a bracket for it. We've got to be accessible for us to get to it and either change the nitrous bottles, to put fuel in the car, to access the fuel pumps in case we have a fuel pump failure. All that stuff has got to go into thought when building the chassis initially. car we used um, for the S13 we just used one of the ER spec roll cages from off our shelf we just grabbed it off the shelf and we went to build that car so that cage we initially build to be a FD spec cage it's the proper uh, diameter it's the proper tube thickness to be an FD spec cage the fitment on it is as tight as you can really get for something that you're gonna mail order and that's just what we had at the time available so we kind of just grabbed one of those from the shelf and threw it in the car on this chassis we had a lot more time to get the car ready, so we were able to do a little bit of a tighter fit on the cage. Um, this is where Bub you know, does his crazy magic and gets the cage to just, I mean, pretty much run the full B pillar all the way around. It's, I mean, it's, to the, it's so close to the point where you don't even have to run a gusset, you can just weld it to the chassis. So it's, it's in, the main hoop is in there tight, all our forward bars are up, I mean, as, as high as we can get them with the, uh, the dies that we have. It works, it's got me uh, in the car with plenty of headroom. It tucks up a little bit tighter in some areas and then now I've got like a NASCAR almost style uh, door bar to where it actually kicks out up into the door framing itself. So I have a lot more room to get in and out of the car compared to last year's car which was more or less just a straight uh, ladder bar down the sides. Because it's so much easier to get in and out, especially with having full suit on, a helmet, Hans device and all that. If there's ever, you know, there is a fire, if there is some kind of leak that we don't know what it is, I can get out of the car as quick as possible at this point because I've got all the room to kind of duck under and go. I mean, excited now picturing it, but once after you get to drive it for the first time, it's going to be a completely different, you know, feeling at that point. It's a whole new chassis, so I'm more excited to see, you know, right once the car's done and drive it. I'm just super anxious for that point now.
I mean, we stripped down the S13 of all of its guts and tossed it out back. Last year's car was the 13. It uh, was just a car that I picked up and actually used for practice because the year before I was running an R32. So I wanted more right-hand drive practice in a car because I'd only driven it for drifting maybe three times. 